SanDisk Extreme Pro micro SD card review. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don. So today we're just going to take a quick look at the SanDisk Extreme Pro micro SDXC memory card. Now I've been using the regular one, which I'm going to show you uh, quickly. So this is uh, this one, which is the regular Extreme uh, micro SD Extreme. And you can, if you take a look here, let me just bring this a little closer. So you can see that this is 128 gig and looks like they're both, uh, okay, I think this is E3 as well and A2. And this one I have is 128 gig and this is uh, the V30 version. So this is also micro SD XC uh, one. Now the difference between uh, these and the pro is that this one just has a slightly uh, more uh, speed so for example you can see that uh, 200 mbps is the read speed and the write speed is 140 but it seems to appear that the regular version which is the micro sd extreme has uh, 190 and 130 so speed difference may not be a lot but what I noticed is that this looks like had some more added features and uh, I'm going to uh, give you a quick rundown. Uh, so in the specs, they mentioned that this one is like a shock proof, temperature proof, water resistant and extra proof. So these features I don't see for the regular SanDisk Extreme version. So I think that's what this one is about. So this is just slightly more speed, but it's offering you some extra features. Now, I was looking at different uh, variations of the memory, like you know, 128, 250, and this one is 512. And somehow the 512 and uh, the Extreme Pro and the 512 regular version is very uh, close in price range uh, on Amazon, especially. So if you look at other stores or Best Buy or other online retailer, there, there's like a huge difference. But somehow on Amazon, they're selling very close price range. So that's why I decided to go ahead with uh, the Extreme Pro version. And before I always bought like a 128. And what happened, I, you know, kept getting um, run out of uh, space. So I decided to like, you know, just go with 100, 512 because I have a trip coming up to Thailand and Dubai. So I just wanna, don't wanna run out of space. So this is how it looks like. And you can see, I saw there's like in you know, a drone picture right here. So this is for like, you know, drone, drones and GoPro and like, you know, uh, 4K camera, so all sort of stuff. And I'm just going to quickly uh, take this out and we're just going to quickly take a look at it. And let's put this aside here. Okay, so this is how it looks and looks like they included an adapter, which is right here, but I have so many adapter from the other versions. So let me just see if I quickly take it out and everything, okay. So now I should be able to take it out and still I cannot take it out. Okay, so let's, uh, you know, cut it again and so at this point, basically, you know, you can t see that I cut the whole thing, but it's terrible packaging so this film is still i cannot take it out looks like without damaging the sd card so finally i was able to take it out but you can see the time i wasted just try to take it out and still it looks like it got stuck so if you are looking at them side by side you know it's hard to tell any difference they also also like you know look very similar it's just the color difference, but they're saying this is like a waterproof, shockproof, extra proof and everything. And this is slightly higher speed. But I think for general purposes, this is good enough. You don't need to go actually the pro version, but I just wanted to uh, like, you know, try this for the first time and see how it goes. And I also upgraded from 128 to 520, I'm sorry, 512 GB. So that was the SanDisk Extreme Pro a micro SDXC UH1 card with adapter. So for the next tips and tricks video, I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.